Hello and welcome to our first Cisco DevNet Minecraft video. Well, no, I wish, but welcome anyways to our Why Minecraft world. So if you don't know it by now, this is Minecraft. It's a blocky world where you, a blocky person as well, is going through the world and actually doing some tasks, creating structures, crafting and so on. But this is not why we're here. So basically the plan is actually to install a Minecraft server on a Cisco device. Wait, but can you actually host a application like a software on a Cisco switch? Let's find out. And I found this white paper here, application hosting on a Cisco Catalyst 9000 series switches. Let's see. So as we can see here, actually, we have two gigabyte of RAM, 25% of the total CPU and 125 gig of SSD storage available on the switch for application. But wait a second, how do they do this? Docker containers, there you go. So actually you run a Docker container on a Cisco switch. Okay, I think it's time to take a closer look at the hardware now. So we have here a Cisco Catalyst 9300 switch and you can even peek inside the chassis there. So what is inside? We have an Intel Quad-Core CPU, RAM, flash and even fans there. So pretty similar to a computer actually. All right, let's create a plan here. So I have my MacBook. On my MacBook runs the Java Edition client from Minecraft. So I will connect my MacBook via the VPN, via internet, to the Catalyst 9300, which is in the office. On the Cat9K, there is iOS XE, which is the operating system of the switch. And on this iOS XE runs the Minecraft server in a Docker container on the Cisco switch. And finally, we will have a laughing cat in the end. But before that, we need to do three steps to get Minecraft on the Cat9K. Number one, we will create a Docker package file. This is basically the Minecraft server. Then, we will install this package file via the Cisco DNA Center. This is the management tool for the Cat9K. And finally, we can connect and play Minecraft. So let's get started with step one, create a Docker package file. So I'll just go to Docker Hub and look for Minecraft. And I found this really cool server by ITZG who created a Minecraft server image already. So we just need to pull this Docker image actually from Docker Hub to our local machine. So by doing the docker pull command, we are actually downloading the docker image directly to our MacBook. Let's just check with the docker images command if it worked. And finally, we need to export this docker image to a tar package file. This will be installed on our Catalyst 9300. Now let's go to step two, install the package with DNA Center. So as you can see here, this is the dashboard of the Cisco DNA Center, where you can manage all your network equipment. When we click to provision, then to services, and then to app hosting, we can actually see what applications are available currently on the DNA Center. When we want to add a new application, we select the type, the category, and then finally, we will upload the Docker package file, what we just exported from Docker. After this is done, let's install our Minecraft server on the switch. So let's set some Docker runtime options, also the app description, and then select our device. So this is our specific Catalyst 9300. In the second step, let's configure application specific settings. So for example, the application networking. So what's the IP address of the container? Finally, let's confirm all our settings and the application will be pushed from the DNA center to our Cat9K. And now the fun part will start. And we have reached number three. We will play Minecraft now and we will see if everything worked out actually. So what we do now is we will add our Catalyst 9300 Minecraft server here. We will select the IP address, the right port and woo, looks good. So now let's join the server and it worked perfect. We are now playing actually Minecraft on the Catalyst 9300. We have a really nice sundown. So thanks for watching and see you soon.